what's wrong Something isn't right I feel I belong in the light Passion has gone And love's taken flight Things just feel heavy Tasting no tears, I'm fighting no fears, but still there's a hole in my heart. Not on my own, but I feel it sometimes. Wondering what should I do for reasons unknown. It's true that I don't have to I'm tasting no tears I'm fighting no fears Still there's a hole in my heart I'm wasting no time I'm losing my mind Here to ready to harvest some of my my basil. I just wanted you to see how quiet it is out here and then we'll go inside and chat. It's really windy too, so. Anywho. Hear that? Isn't that nice? I just twist them off. I'm not really harvesting enough worth running my dehydrate. I don't really use a lot of basil, but it'll come in handy this winter. Cooking soups and stuff. Anywho, um, I won't really do a tour today. I'll just show you some of the yard and, and my plants and my ducks. I only have a few ducks and a few chickens and a few quail and my one pig. But I'll be selling him soon. He's almost full grown. It's still small because he's a coon coon, but full grown coon coon. Anywho, guys, I'm going to go put this up to dry, and JT's getting some work down there done, so we'll go in where it's quieter. No traffic. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Hi guys, I'm back in the same spot. Um, it got quiet. My ducks kept making um, distracting sounds in my earlier video and they kind of do their little raspy, I don't know what it is, but between that and traffic and JT putting fence posts in, I, I couldn't concentrate. And it's too hot inside. I tried it inside. Um, yeah, we're going to finish out the summer without AC because neither one of our ACs ended up working. I guess they've been setting too long or something. 
who knows guys so quick update um we did get situated at the new property um it's awesome it really is it's a such a relief and i hold on we got a car such a relief and such a feeling of um freedom just so much weight off the shoulders so much weight um i'm not going to get into any details but it was time to move along and we moved along um we pretty much finished any cleanup job we could do over there anyway, and I never did want to live there. You guys know that. I never wanted to spend one day up there in those trailers. Um, I, I truly believe that land is cursed. I joked about it my first year there when Steve was still there, and I'm like, is, is this place cursed? But I do believe it is, and... I don't know. I mean, if you're watching, Bob, you probably figured that out, too, by now. Um, I don't know what to say, but shit got really weird there at the end, and I was just thankful to get out and get my stuff out and my, my things of my parents and my grandparents that I brought there, and everything went smooth. The Lord provided. He's still providing. I mean... We had to go almost three weeks here with no water because we had to wait on the well guy to be able to come and get stuff up and running. So um, it rained. It filled every barrel. I mean, it was more than enough. I mean, it lasted until, until the well guy came. So it's up and running. Um, got the camper parked where we wanted it uh, the only problem there is it's not level yet um, we have leveled it some but it's it's far from what it needs to be uh, it's you got to have sea legs guys you wouldn't want to get drunk in there let me tell you but who cares? It's home, and the home is home, and yeah, now we can start um, setting up, you know. Uh, I feel good enough. JT's ankles recovered enough to where we can kick ass now. Um, the thing about this land is the only level spot is the driveway. I'm not kidding. Uh it is something else but we're gonna make it work I mean it'll take time we don't expect it all to happen right away um, a lot of the stuff we want to do we can't do until winter anyway because the bugs are so bad guys I mean the ticks are just like nothing I've ever seen in my life and I have been from the East Coast to the West Coast down south, um, quite a ways north, and I've never lived anywhere where fleas and ticks were as bad as they are here. So I'm not fucking around. Oh, some of you probably don't know, I got Lyme disease this spring. I have not been myself. I guess only probably my Facebook friends know. Um, cause I don't think I've done a video since I got it. Like three days after JT signed on the property, I finally made myself go to the doctor because I felt like I was dying. Guys, I really did. I couldn't sleep. I, I just was miserable night and day. And it just would drain all of my energy just to even get up and go to the fridge and get a drink of water. And I knew something was wrong. So I went... Well, I had got a rash around one of my tick bites, and I'd heard you get a rash if you get Lyme, but it, 
I had heard that it's in the a shape of a bullseye. That's not always true. <laughs> Take it from somebody who knows. Um, it was just a rash. And yeah, it took me a little while to put it together, about a week. And I'm like, you know, I think I should go get tested. So I went and got tested and I did have it. I caught it fairly early. Um, they put me on two weeks of antibiotic and then my doctor uh, suggested I take three herbs um, that were really hard to find actually. And uh, But we found them. Thank God for my sister in California. She can order anything and just have it at your door. And that's, I mean, I have money, but I had no way to get it. I don't order online. I don't have cards, you know. And the health store in town did not sell what I needed. They only sold one in the form of a dried herb, a, the dried tea leaves. So two of my herbs were capsules and one was tea. And I still have some of those. I'm still on them. She told me to finish them. So she said that um, they kill anything that the antibiotic doesn't kill. I thought that was interesting. It's like, well, then why don't you just prescribe that instead of the antibiotic? Who knows, guys, but I was so blessed to have such a great doctor. And so we had to deal with that in the move. JT, like, sprained his ankle really bad um, like day one of move in but my family came to rescue guys is what happened because we had no help we had nobody to come over and mow it down not even paths for us and ticks were just infested all over it I've been spraying so I've cut them way way down but uh yeah so we had no help so I broke down and I called my sister and she called my dad and my dad got us a U-Haul and my brother-in-law and my nephew came down and just two loads in the U-Haul and it was done. Uh, loaded it up, hitched it up to the trailer, took it over, went back for the second load, hitched, hitched up the camper, <laughs> hauled it over, unloaded the truck and um, found, was blessed to find a, um, a wrecker service that was only $75 her vehicle so we got both trucks towed over here um, $75 a vehicle and then $4 a mile it's still it was insanely reasonable and it all just fell into place guys God is so good to me he's so good to me I ask him to bless this land um, I don't know what's what the past holds here but um, I figured it couldn't hurt. So I asked him to bless it. And I just started planting. I've got, um, some of them were in the, the clips at the beginning of the video, but a lot of them weren't. Um, but I got grapes planted. I got four blueberry bushes. I have my goji berry and my elderberry that I still got to get in the ground. I'm going to wait a little more into fall for those. Um, we got two pear trees, an apple tree. Those are already all in the ground. Um, comfrey, rhubarb, and then I have some wild um, herbs. I guess they are. Spiderwort, um, soapwort, chocolate mint. Oh, JT went to get us some orange sherbet uh, ice cream. If you can't find lemon, he's going to get either lemon or orange sherbet. Um, I got chocolate mint. I got catnip. I got lemon balm lemongrass, tons of bell pepper plants, lots of tomatoes, but they're not doing that great. Um, next year I won't have to grow them in pots. That's awesome. I've got a sour cherry 
tree, bush, whatever it is. Uh, two Mary Jane plants. Oh, and those are just my food plants, guys. And I made, um, I made it a point to bring my soil that I left Washington with, because when I came from Washington to here, I brought basically my garden with me in big pots. And um, I was telling JT, hold on. I was telling JT my soil is um, a special mix. It has soil from three different states. It has Washington, Illinois, and Missouri soil. Plus it has all my composting stuff. Plus I do, um, I got some worm castings from farmer's market that I mixed in. My soil is wonderful. So until we get a garden spot established here, um, I have plenty of soil to have in pots for for my um, starting my garden next year. Anywho, guys, do you mind if I smoke? I need a cigarette, and I gotta make kind of a long video. This video is actually for everybody, but it was requested by Chloe. I love you, Chloe. Look, everybody said hi when I said your name. All the dogs. Um. <laughs> Stop. Hold on, guys. Be right back. Okay. Sorry. I don't know what he's barking at, but, um... Anyway, hi, Chloe May. Um, she requested me to do a video, and she's been after me for a while to get back to making videos. I didn't really know she watched them until recently. I knew she did sometimes, but I guess she's a pretty faithful little viewer. Anywho, um, so yeah, I just want to make sure you're caught up. I have no idea how long this video is. I have no idea. I can't see it. My screen's pretty messed up, guys. But back to what I was saying earlier, um, we can't really even see the land until after basically the first freeze, because... It's so overgrown, and there are so many ticks. And it's not just ticks, it's chiggers, too. And so we can't go in our woods. It's six and a half acres, and I'm going to guesstimate that probably about four of it is forest. We have, we have a forest, guys. I can make a... Um, I could make a teepee in the forest now, and it won't get trampled. Um, I can go back to doing my survival videos. I just missed it so much. Some things you just can't do certain places, you know? So, um, anyway, we're going to do all that after the bugs are froze off. And put together a little orchard. We want to have a little, um, a little God's little acre where we just kind of grow things that maybe that we can share with others or maybe share seeds from with others. We aren't sure yet, but basically it's just going to be a little spot that we just kind of donate to, um, growing fruits mostly. I still have um, seeds that I brought from the orchard in Washington. I have not tried to grow any yet. Um, I didn't want to grow them until I knew where I was going to be for a while. You know, I'm not planting something that special on somebody else's land. So we'll see. I brought pear seeds. I brought cherry seeds. I brought rhubarb seeds. I didn't even know rhubarb seeded. I just thought it was like cluster root plant that multiplies and you got to be divided. Well, it actually seeds. It's a huge jar of seeds. Um, what else did I bring from the orchard? Oh, apple seeds, of course. Um, any
Anywho, um, I don't want to ramble. Um, trying to think if I forgot anything. Oh, I did mention earlier, I still have a few hens and a rooster. And I got a little handful of ducks and I have my quail still. I'm going to get rid of the pig. And I'm going to get rid of my ruined ducks and I'm going to keep those black ones that I... I'll try to put a little another... Um, another little bunch of clips at the end. Maybe. I don't know. I might not. Can't go back and add it because I already got the first part of my video ready. Um, um, yeah, I already got the other part of this video done and already put together. I just got to add this chat in at the end. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that because I wanted to put some pictures of the land in. Maybe I'll do that next video. I think I will. Anyway, guys, I miss you greatly. I love you. Puppies are barking. Well, puppy, I only got one left. He needs this forever home. Anyway, guys, I'll try to keep you better updated. Um, I'm just so glad to have my life back. I don't have to be on pins and needles and I don't have any of that stress anymore. There the last year or so we weren't really even allowed to do work to earn our keep. I mean I I was doing the work but it wasn't earning our keep. So I mean what what is the point then, you know? Like if I'm not working to have my rent off and I'm still doing the work and then I'm getting told that I'm living for free, why bother? you know ouch and that was a lot of hard work I have before and after videos and pictures of all of it and I thought about posting just so you guys know that I did the job I was asked to do but honestly it was such filthy work and so discouraging and just nothing about it was organized or we didn't have any help like being told what to do with stuff we're finding stuff we don't even know what it is we're told not to throw stuff away but then we're told to clean up the trash and it's like well that looked like trash to me <laughs> but you know we didn't because there was no dumpster anyway so we never did get to really throw it all away but but I did the job I cleaned out the trailers um, I cleaned in between the trailers I cleaned we cleaned out the side burn. We cleaned and moved all the appliances by hand um, that were left there. And just, my job was done. And then, then this happened. So, I feel very blessed, guys. Very blessed. And on that note, I'm going to go. I said this a while ago. I miss you. I miss you all. I love you. And Chloe May, we will talk soon. Bye, guys.